Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments on lose reels. I've done some videos in the past and people just, there's so many reels, they don't know what reels best for what type of situation. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm basically gonna break down which reels you need for deep water, uh, mid and shallow and kind of help you, give you some a price range of a, a, a low a price reel I recommend and a higher price reel I recommend for each of those depths. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first category I wanna get into is deep. Um, you may have heard me in the past mention the BB series, uh, BB1, BB1 Pro. Um, I use these deep, they're built for deep water because um, regardless if you have the new ones or the old ones like I do, this is BB1 Pro, they've redesigned it, but still same build. It's slimmed down a little bit, but still spool size is the same. Holds about 160 yards, it's a 35 millimeter spool. Um, made for long cast. Um, it's not a close quarters uh, a reel. It's it's made for long, not necessarily having to be super accurate with your cast. Uh, and the reason is for that, um, anytime you get a, this line guide uh, further away from the spool, there's more play in that line, which um, kind of decreases your accuracy with that reel. Um, but with this kind of this kind of reel, that's not a big of concern when you're offshore throwing a big crankbait or a umbrella rig or a giant swim bait. You're just you're kind of throwing it in a general area. So that's why these reels are are your deep water reels. Um, BB1 Pro here, the BB1. Honestly, I don't even know if they make this anymore. Great reel, you know. For me, you can tell this is my cranking reel. I got a bigger knobs on it for you know just uh, cr cranking those six XDs or whatever offshore. Um, so. The BB1, BB series is, is a great uh, pick for deep water. Okay, so for the mid-depth, um, you may have heard before LFS. That's one of their uh, platforms that they build their reels on, which stands for lighter, faster, stronger. It's been around for quite a while. Um, but these reels here, um, these in particular, there's kind of a separate reason why I like them so much. But um, just basically understand these reels. They hold around 140 yards of line. They're 34 millimeter spools, a little smaller than the BB1s, BB series. But these are for that mid-depth. Maybe it's a, a mid-depth crankbait. Something you just need a little more line. You want to throw something a little bit further. But when you get into these, the spool, this is a tournament MP, uh, you know, that spool, again, it's a little bit closer to that guide, making it a little bit more accurate of a reel. Um, it's a slimmer profile, so for a little bit smaller baits, you're, you're trying to get a little bit more target oriented with this, but you still need a little bit more line. This is a good uh, LFS, all those LFS reels are, are good uh, for that. You know, original Speed Spool is a $99 reel, great reel, both built on aluminum uh, frames, so they're solid reels. The reason I choose these personally, um, I would probably use uh, different reels if they offered it in a different gear ratio. But the tournament MPs have the widest range gear ratio. This is, they offer this in a five, six to one. I use these for spinner baits. This one the same way, uh, the speed spool, they offer it in, I think it goes all the way up to eight. And then this one is a five, six to one. So you, you get, I got a good range. That's why I like these two. I recommend these two. Okay, so for the shallow water reels, um, you probably heard SLP. Um, SLP frames, they put them on a lot of reels. Um, it's kind of their most popular frame. It's their newest frame. It stands for super low profile. And um, it's the most com compact reel they offer. <clears throat> and the reason for that, you know, it's, uh, it holds 110 yards of line and it's a 32 millimeter spool. So it's a smaller spool than the others. It's built for that close contact, that target oriented fishing that you're gonna do, throwing square bills up at lay downs or spinner baits, whatever it is. Um, that you're going to be throwing at something and you need to be accurate with that cast. Um, one of my favorites, uh, it's the custom. This is a generation one. The new one's black. I've always liked the white. Um, I have a black as well. They're exactly the same. And as you can see, like I've showed you on the other two, the spool is even closer to that guide, giving that line less play, giving you more accuracy. Um, it's more palmable, more compact than the others. Um, because of that smaller spool, um, still strong, throw whatever you want on it. Um, custom's my favorite. And then the, my 
all-time favorite is the Hypermag. It's a strong reel that's super light and it's strong enough to flip with if you want to flip with it. Again, these, these are for close combat fishing. So any type of baits that you're thinking about that you need to be accurate with, these are the reels to do it. All right, so you know, obviously guys, Luce has a ton more reels and I use a lot of them. Um, these are just some of my favorites and I just wanted, mainly today wanted to focus on the different categories of reels and what those frames mean um, and where you can put them um, as far as what you want to fish with, how you can kind of match them up to what you're trying to do. Um, I'm not going to get into breaks and all that kind of stuff and what reels better than other ones. I have other videos out there about that, but I think this will help you kind of narrow in and maybe clear the picture for you as far as when you're picking out a lose reel, um, which one is best for what you're trying to do. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.